Hello, Forever Family. Until then, keep focus on what matters most to you. Hello, my wonderful Forever family. Aiden O'Hare here to bring you another episode of Forever Matters. Well, we're finally settled back here at the home office after an incredible Eagle Managers Retreat in Cancun, Mexico. It was so great to be with our new Eagles, and all of our Eagles actually, but especially the 306 brand new Eagles. But here's a quick sneak peek about some of the fun we had. Check this out. A great time that was. On our training day in Cancun, we touched on top five tips for a new eagle. And I wanted to share those with you today because they kind of got me thinking when I was on stage and I was listening, I was like, oh yeah. The first one, write a plan. The second one, be consistent. The third one, focus on retail. Four, put others first. And five, the power of love. What a great list. And all of those came from brand new eagle managers that had used those to help build a successful business. So what's been going on around the world? Let's check out what else has been happening in the forever world. Frederick, our country manager in Scandinavia, let me know that they are up 26% in case credit growth in October versus September. Additionally, Denmark is now up 44% in CC growth versus September. That's amazing to hear, and guess what? I'm hearing that from all over the world now. Countries are starting to grow, and it's a wonderful thing because you know we're into that growth mentality. Hungary, Italy, and the Dark region, and Ghana, have all shared some great photos with us from recent achievements and events they've had. Take a quick look, see if you recognize anybody. Now that's just a couple of countries around the world that we managed to grab some photos of and there's loads more happening. It's always great to see a glimpse of all the incredible things that our Forever family is doing around the world. Speaking of great things going on around the world, Navas, Cynthia and Greg are heading to India to hold a success day in Delhi. After India, Navas is gonna head over to Vietnam for success day on November 14th at the Forever Vietnam office in Ho Chi Minh City. If you haven't reserved your spot there, make sure you contact Miss Nee and get your name on that list. After that, Greg and Cynthia will be heading over to Turkey, spend a little bit of time in Istanbul, and then down to Izmir on the 11th, where they'll be opening a brand new office. So make sure you're there to join in the celebrations and open in that new office. Make sure you send us some pictures. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, let's get on and recognize some of the hard work of our FBOs from around the world. Congratulations to Lauren Fenton in the United Kingdom for achieving Sapphire Manager. Before Forever, Lauren worked three jobs alongside running her sports rehabilitation center. She was overworked, stressed, and decided it was time to make a change. Lauren looked at the Forever opportunity, simply out of curiosity at first, but she soon saw that everything she had ever craved to be her own boss, to have flexible working hours, to work with a team of people, to share the journey with them, and to find a better work-life balance. You know, a lot of you might recognize some of the things that Lauren experienced, and, and already she's moving well up into the gem manager positions. Hey Lauren, we're proud of you. Mamadia Mudubela from South Africa has just reached Diamond Sapphire Manager. Congratulations to our great friend there. She's doing a wonderful job. And you all know if you work in the marketing plan, it's not easy to get up there. Hey, well done, Ani. Congratulations. We look forward to seeing you again soon. We have another Diamond Sapphire Manager from Poland. Congratulations to Maria Barkowiak. Maria has been in forever for an incredible 27 years with her husband, Jacek joining her along the way and supporting her. Hey, Yasek, congratulations to you too. 
They've been sharing their knowledge and experience with others, helping them earn an honest living and fulfilling dreams because they believe everyone deserves an opportunity to gain financial independence and freedom. Well done to you both, well done Maria. From Iraq, Ali Hakmed Ataya has recently moved up to Sapphire Manager. Ali joined Forever back in 2020 and is working on qualifying for even more incentives. He has his eyes set on becoming an Eagle Manager, Chairman's Bonus and Global Rally. Gee, Ali, you're going to be busy this year, in addition to moving up the Diamond Sapphire in the future. I love that growth. Keep up that mindset, Ali. Keep it up, brother. All right, this is it, the moment you've all been waiting for. These are our top 10 total group case credits for September. I got there in the end. Number 10, congratulations to Joseph Zabo from FOP Hungary. Number 9, Jane Leach and John Curtis from Great Britain. Number 8, from UAE, Mariola Haida. Congratulations, and it was great to see you in Mexico, by the way. Number seven, Switzerland, Philip Ritter and his girlfriend, Claudia. Number six, from Morocco, Kautau Taoju. Kautau, you're gonna have to tell me how to pronounce your last name because I always mess it up. Number five, UAE, Beanish Abu Bakar. Congratulations, Beanish, she's doing so well. Number four, from Morocco, Joel Bonafoy Pole. Number three, and here's a change. Ready? Dun, 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 dun. Number three, from FOP Japan, who's Tsunami Tagagi. So we have a brand new number two for total group case credits for September from India. Krishna Aurora. Congratulations to Krishna Aurora. And of course, our final number one FBO in all of the world for September was Rolf and Dominique Kip. Congratulations, you guys. Well done, everybody. Exciting to see a little change there. Two and three, well done. Let's talk product for just a minute. I'm not sure how many of you tuned into our EMR Zoom broadcast a couple of weeks ago, but if you did, you would have seen that we've given our C9 system a bit of a makeover. The good news is that we still have all of the same great components and products included but with a slightly new look. The packaging and design of the nine day program have been updated to work individually or in conjunction with the DX4 body balancing system. You as consumers have the option to modify the two programs to work with your needs. Everyone loves options, so make sure that you and your teams keep motivated, engaged with a quarterly reset using one or both of these great products. Mark your calendars. I am confident that you will boost your mind, your body, and your sales. A quick update on Forever Giving. On Saturday, October the 15th, Forever Japan did a World Health Program charity walk to donate to Ukraine through the Rex Morn Forever Giving Foundation. They raised over 4 million yen. 250 FBOs and their families and 50 staff gathered wearing Ukraine's blue t-shirt and walked to the benefit of all of those suffering in Ukraine right now. Thank you so much for all of that hard work and that long walk. An event like this makes you remember that the power of forever is the power of love. So thanks so much once again for all our friends at Forever Japan. Now before I go, I want to remind you about Gratitude November. Here in the US, we celebrate Thanksgiving this month. And I have a little challenge for you to join me as, as you know, over the last couple of three years, every day I post uh, in November something I'm grateful for. So I'm going to be doing the gra gratitude post again for the entire month of November. And I'm inviting you, join me. Can you do that? Can you imagine if all of us Every single person watching this and everyone in your group decided they were going to write in their Instagram or post online or via their social media something that they're grateful for every day. I think that might just make us all feel just a little bit better and put a really, really cool energy into things. So hey, watch out for at Aiden O'Hare on Instagram and I'll lead the way. Thank you very much for joining me in that thing. Well, that's a wrap for the episode of Forever Matters. Week after week, I am always so encouraged after seeing all of the wonderful things going on across the forever world. I hope you've enjoyed our time together today as much as I have, and I look forward to being with you again in a couple of weeks for more updates. Until then, keep focusing on what matters most to you.